Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are going to be going after our final <laughs> our final watchtower in the quarry. Or sorry, the rift. <laughs> I knew that knew as soon as I said it it was wrong. Uh but we have we haven't even been over to this area really at all. Uh so we're gonna have to do that. But what I wanna do is at least get this watchtower and then I want to uh, return this uh, tartan or the TUZ 420 and uh, I want to get it repaired because it is it is in shambles right now um, and thank you to all the comments who had mentioned that um, we might as well go ahead and watch this one more time but uh, thank you for all the comments who said that there is a free one on the Zimagorski, if I'm pronouncing that right, map, uh, which is still locked right now. So, uh, but I believe all we have to do is go through the gateway in the quarry, uh, which is actually really close to the gateway for this. So, uh, uh, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and show it? Because I can go in there without really going there. But yeah, so we're here at the rift. All we have to do is go into here and then they said it's up on a mountain. It's hidden. So. We will find that one and we will probably, probably sell it. <laughs> I don't know if we need two of these things, but um, yeah. So anyways, let's get moving because the, uh, I started the engine and unfortunately the engine is uh, burning fuel at uh, well over 1.2 gallons per minute. And uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drive through here and just go straight down the hill. Uh, cause apparently this thing doesn't give any F's as to what's in the way, so <laughs> I'll try to keep it clean as possible, which is, which is actually kind of shocking, cause if you know me in real life, I usually swear way too much, and somehow I've, uh, I've managed to, uh, keep this series pretty PG, so I, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with myself for that, but, uh, yeah, we got to go way over here. I kind of want to go across the river, but I mean, at the same time, you know what? Let's let's go across the river. We'll get this upgrade. We'll try to pick up any of these uh, tasks that we can, and then we'll make our way over there because, yeah, we might as well. We might as well do something with our driver, our uh, gas and Hopefully, possibly, uh, there might be a gas station over there or a tanker with fuel in it. So now we can't we can't tow a trailer with this, uh, but we can drag a trailer if you know, you know. Uh, but yeah, this thing tends to just chew up uh, fuel and also to chew up terrain. So. Uh, I was actually watching a video, I believe it was, was by SDK1, I believe that's his name, he's a YouTube creator, that basically just compares, I think, every single truck. Somehow he has done a comparison for every single truck versus every single truck, so um, I don't know if it's 100%, but uh, he pretty much has everything. and. According to his findings, the Yar and this, uh, the Yar is actually a better truck, which I was kind of shocked about. Uh, this this vehicle here has its downsides. Uh, it is very heavy on gas, uh, and it doesn't. You can't equip a snorkel to it, which I find kind of shocking. But I guess at the same time, if it had a snorkel. <laughs> And if it could tow a trailer, it would be uh, way overpowered. So they they probably uh, toned it down a little bit for balances and, and checks and those type of things. So, but uh, yeah, apparently the the Yar is is a lot faster and is just as capable or faster in the mud because it's because of the speed of the truck. It can actually go through a lot of the mud uh, quicker. So. But anyways, let's, uh, oh wow, that thing just fell apart. 
let's go ahead and accept this task. No, this is this is actually the task that we have selected right now. <laughs> um, so it looks like we need to do repair points and whatnot. And well, we don't have that, so we'll just leave that sitting there. Uh, there is an upgrade. Uh, I'm gonna go straight and split the buildings. This will be a nice little bonus to, to have. Oh, wow. That car looks like it's floating in midair. Little, little glitch there. Yep, it is completely floating. <laughs> Alright, ah, uh, we got the Azov AM-4V 14.6 is what I would assume. <laughs> uh, but it's 146, so let's see. Oh, look at that, it's for the R. 87 and the con 39 marshall and the con sentinel so not too bad of a, a discovery there and that's that's where it is on the map i uh i've kind of noticed that i don't really <coughs> excuse me i don't really show on the map where some of the upgrades are uh which probably help out if you're looking to uh if you're looking at the videos trying to figure out where these things are so I will try to do my best in the future to show actual locations on the map once I get to the, the upgrade. Uh, let's go ahead and refuel. We're, we're going to leave that trailer for now. We're going to cut through this cornfield, or this, I shouldn't call it a cornfield. Uh, it actually looks more like a potato field, but uh, yeah, we're going to cut through the farmland. I think now all we got to do is head south. Uh, yeah, we got all the tasks around there. Those have been knocked out. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go across the river here. Where is it? Right about there. And let's let's hope that uh, we can either do this quick enough, or it's not that deep. And it's not that deep. But yeah, we, we, we're just, we're cooking through this like it's nothing. I wouldn't mind doing, and let me know if you guys want to see this. Me picking a course like this, because I feel like the Yar would struggle through here. Even though it's technically a better scout. Although we do have a, a pretty nice set of headlights here, so. Uh, but of doing like a real world scouting mission or a real world path and, and see because like I was saying the review that I watched the guy he has like a obstacle course so that you know both sides are exactly the same or he or he uh, records them like he'll load them in and, and whatnot so it's it's kind of pre-made tests that you would see in like the real world um, it's not actual trails that you're on so it might be a little might little might be a little biased uh, in some aspects, but I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll set up some type of run where I drive from one side of the map to the other just to see how long it actually takes. I hope this isn't deep. Uh, it's deep. We're just going to have to fight through it. I know. I'm sorry, engine. Oh, we stalled. <sighs> Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't know that happened. I can't start the engine. Oh, I could rescue it. But that is a long ways to go. Alright, well, you know what? Things don't go as planned, so let's let's recover this anyways. It's fine. Uh, I was dumb on my part. I wasn't thinking. Man, I'm only 10 minutes into this episode and I already screwed up. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's do this uh, customization here. And well, that's the only engine we get. The gearbox. We have a special, a fine tune and advanced special. Well, that sounds like um, like it sucks. <laughs> not to not to be rude about it or anything, but I mean, you get 
more gears, a full range of gears at the cost of higher fuel. So, um, although I'm not going to lie, the, uh, the rating is still a C minus. So let's go for it. <laughs> uh, stock suspension. I don't think there's a raised suspension for this one. Uh, we've got quite a bunch of tires. Those are our, those are our stock tires. Ooh, I don't know what tires are the best tires. Well, those are average. Those look to be the whitest. Ah, maybe I'm lying. Those seem to be pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what the best tire setup is for this truck. Oh, I can't for some reason rotate farther. That's that's strange. Uh, but yeah, let me know because I haven't done any research on this. So I'm going to say either these or maybe those. I'm going to go with these ones. But yeah, let me know. Uh, we obviously need the autonomous scout wench. Uh, what's the advance? Do, 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 do. It's been so long since I've read these things. Okay, so it's just a powerful motor and more length. And then the high powered is that. That's that, that, that. Okay, yeah, we're going autonomous. Although I'm not going to lie, this thing doesn't flip over very often. It's it's pretty stable vehicle, so... And uh, what do we got here? We got 150 repair points. We got four spare tires. That's pretty impressive, because I only see one. <laughs> and then we get 32 gallons of fuel. That's not a lot of fuel. That's kind of a bummer. How is that only 32? Hmm. Anyways, well, let's throw that on because that's a bonus. And, uh, yeah, there isn't, there's beacons, there's horns. Oh, the sunshade, that's what it was. I like how there's two. I feel like if you do one, you have to do the other. Um, yeah, fog lights? Yes, please. More lights, the better. All right, so we've got our stock rims, which aren't even our stock rims. Ooh, I do like the blacked out rims better. Um, I'm going to lean towards those. I like those ones better. Uh, the color. Mm, the crocodile. Yeah, that's that's pretty nifty. Um, I think I'm going to go desert sand. Or do I want to go olive? Nope, desert sand. Yeah, that was the right one. I already forgot which one it was. Uh, there are some camouflaged ones, but yeah, we're going to go with the plain desert sand. That looks pretty good there. Um, so yeah, I guess let's leave the garage. We are, we are a long ways from home. I am not going to lie there because we have to go into the quarry, which is all the way over here. Like, I feel like, I feel like for some reason we're not able to uh complete this game or complete uh geez i don't even know what i'm saying uh we're having an issue trying to get this last watchtower so um yeah we're gonna we're gonna go for it i feel like i'm driving slower i mean i got a fifth gear so <laughs> headlights uh work nicely Yeah, I really want to, I really want to see if this is any, I feel like it should be faster. I have five years now versus, I believe, four. But again, it always, it always feels like you're driving slower anyways when you're on asphalt versus driving in mud. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm going to cut this out until we get 
back into the rift and I will bring you guys in there. Alright, so I wanted to bring you guys back in. On my way to the rift, I realized that we still have cliffhanger to do on this map, which is basically just dragging this vehicle all the way back to the hermit's uh, shack, which is just over yonder. So we're going to do that so that we feel like we've accomplished something in this episode because yeah, finding one upgrade and possibly, possibly a, uh, whoops, somehow, somehow I detached that. Okay. And, uh, and finding one watchtower just. I don't think that's going to cut it for me, so... And I think we just go... Yeah, can I go up the, that way? Uh, yeah, I guess that's the way I'm supposed to go, so let's uh, map this out real quick. We'll go up here, we'll go up here, we'll go over here... We'll go up this way... And somewhere around here, we'll come back... And then we'll drop it off right there and it looks like they're no nope, it looks like it's just i don't know what that is it almost looks like a repair station but uh yeah we'll figure it out yeah i, I didn't i didn't think it mattered <laughs> it's not really going to speed us up at all to have the the engine on the winch truck turned on so all right so we'll travel up this way Ooh, that uh, that actually stalled it a little bit I love how the one thing that uh, or the the Achilles heel of this one truck I found within what not even 10 minutes of, of driving it <laughs> and I just sunk it in the uh, sunken in the ground like it was nothing we're gonna we're gonna cut through here just for fun looks like there might be a antenna tower there yeah I know we pass a, a watchtower sooner or later but I don't think it counts for anything yep we gotta keep going to the left here and this this thing is pretty amazing. It's it's kind of sad that it uh that it has no snorkel on it though cuz I feel like even if it had a snorkel you couldn't really traverse through deep deep water like you do with the bigger trucks. Yeah, I don't know if I did this watchtower. I must have done this watchtower. Oh well. I came up here uh for no reason last time, I guess. But yeah, I, I just feel like it could have a snorkel and it wouldn't be that bad. Like, it would help out a little bit. Like, it would have saved us from uh, having to recover that one time. Uh, nope, just gotta drive. There we go. Alright, well that was 4250 bucks. Or 4250 bucks. <laughs> However you want to say it. All right, I almost feel like we could go straight down that cliff. Should we try it? I mean, what do we have to lose? Except for the fact that we're going in the wrong direction. Ah, uh, you know what? It would be faster though. I'm I'm going to say let's go for it. I got to go left. We got to go left to the shack and possibly squeeze through there. Think we can do it? Yep. And then is that oh that's the road right there. Um Well, if this was expeditions we could just lower ourselves, but we're just gonna hit the brakes and tumble all down. That was uh that was almost too simple. Alright, so there's a top tip for you. 
you can uh, just throw this thing, or as the kids like to say, yeet this thing off a cliff. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you'll be absolutely fine. Like, we didn't even take one point of damage, which is kind of insane. Alright, so now that we're getting back on track... Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 watch the stump. Oh, there's water. You know what? I know I can go through this water. I think we get close. Yeah, it pops up saying dangerous water levels. I don't even know where the air intake is on this thing. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should not be driving at night. You know, we'll uh, we'll wait until we get to the rift, and then we'll uh, advance to morning. And heck, by the time morning comes, we'll probably almost be. Oh, uh, I said that backwards. So scratch that, reverse it. By the time we get to the rift, it will probably be almost morning, anyways. Uh, as long as I don't overshoot it. No, nope. it's always I always forget about the the, the crater full of water. And you know what? Let's just go through this way, because this thing just doesn't care what it goes through. As long as it's not deep. Alright, we should just be able to follow this path up and uh, up and around the crater and into the rift. Okay, that's that's slowed it down a little bit. Kind of impressive though. This truck definitely belongs under the category of point and shoot. <laughs> you can just pick a path and, and just go with it. Um, okay, that's why I feel like we're turning a lot. Because we technically went a different way than we're used to. Alright, so... I think we have to go straight up that way, do we not? Yeah, there's really no good way through there. Oh, oh, left, 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 left. Go ahead and back her down. It's kind of a tight turn, but... I don't have any doubts that this truck can handle it. Come on. Ooh, that was close. Not gonna lie, that was close. Alright, let's travel to the rift. We'll start in the morning once we land. And, uh, actually, you know what? We pretty much are in morning, so let's just, let's just go with it. Even though it says night, <laughs> I think we've got about a half an hour. Uh, but yeah, let's go for that watchtower. It's, uh, it almost kind of worked out that we, uh, drowned. Drowned, drowned the uh, the truck. Just because it was able to give us our repair points and our fuel rack, we were able to throw on a bigger rack, change the color. We basically knocked all the dents out of it too. And and add the tires, of course. How could I forget the tires? And rims. I guess the rims, too. You know. Why not? Might as well count those. But, uh, yeah. So it allowed us to kind of update this thing. Or upgrade it before we, uh, ventured over here. So, you know what? It works out in the end. It always does. It just might not go to plan every time. Alright, so we are still traveling in the right direction. That's a good sign. We've got 
I don't know, a little bit of work to do? Just a little bit of work to do? Oh, 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 I saw something. All right, well, you know what? Let's just go get it. That's, uh, like I said earlier, we'll point and shoot. Now, it does look like there's a rock base. Um, yeah, we can go, we can go around. Oh, is that what it is? It's a time trial. Oh, uh, what, what's that over there? All right, well, that's a little deceiving. Um, yeah, it's right. Where was it? It was back this way, wasn't it? Right there. Do you guys see that? The yellow? Yeah, it's definitely something. And yeah, we are going to go for it. And we are just going to go straight down there and go for it. This has got to be an upgrade. Better not be a task. Actually, you know what? If it's a task, then it's fine. No, it's an upgrade. Yay. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see where it is. So the upgrades in this little valley, I guess, whatever you want to call it. There's the uh, entry from the quarry. So that should give you that should give you a rough idea where it is. All right. Let's find out what it is. It is an engine, the LAZ6T195, and this is for the Tartra, the Tuts, the Step, the Bandit, the 310 Step, and the Zika. Or Zeeks. I, for I already forgot how to pronounce that. Oh well. But there you go. There's the engine if you guys were looking for it. Now you know where it is. Alright, so let's get back on track. That trail wanders through that way, so we got to come back up this way. All right, so let's just let's just throw her in reverse and see how far we get. Technically, it's a little slower, so let's turn around. Although we are going so through over that, yeah, we are going over some rough terrain, but definitely faster. If we go this way and turn around, uh, if we go inside, like, I just kind of want to hang out inside this thing. I wish I could see more. That's just going to show me the outside. I wish I could see more of the interior of this thing because it looks, uh, it looks nice and spacious on the inside. Anyways, enough gawking. Let's get up this hill and keep heading towards that uh, watchtower. And yeah, I think this is the right way. I guess we'll find out sooner or later. But really, honestly, who am I kidding? Um, whoa. I'm kind of almost tipped there. Uh, but yeah, honestly, who am I kidding? Like, this thing will just go through pretty much anything, so... I feel like the, uh, the con would- or not the con, the, um... The Tuts would do it as the same as well. Alright. Not the Tuts, the Yar. And you guys have to... Forgive me because I am, uh, yeah, I'm recording this pretty late at night and I've been, I've been so busy lately. Like I, I don't even have time to record, but I squeeze it in when I can. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and launch this, uh, watchtower. So this is the final, final watchtower and it basically overlooks a logging camp, which 
is fantastic. Um, so we have, what do we have here? Well, there's a bunch of stuff over here. We got a fuel tanker. Nope, that's a flatbed. Maybe that's just a... Okay, there's my fuel tanker. I knew I saw one. Uh, so we got a couple. And we got a resupply point, so... Yeah, let's go, uh... Let's go mosey on over there and see what's, uh... I really don't want to go over that stump. I feel like I'm gonna get stuck here, trying to turn around. Even stumps this thing doesn't really care about, does it? Alright, let's see what we've got here for a task. Alright, so we've got a scout trailer, which is useless. Um, so we accepted that task. I didn't even read what that task was. That's how, um, that's how tired I am. Oh uh, man, I still have to finish recording this episode. I have to then up er, process it and edit it and then upload it and then get it out for you guys at uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So uh, let's go ahead and accept this one. And we'll close that off. This is just a cargo point, which is cement. Good to know. We've got some fuel here. Let's. Yeah. Uh, finders keepers. We haven't even done that one yet. But that's another truck that we could do. There's an upgrade way over here. Uh, I kind of want to go for the upgrade. Yeah, let's let's go for the upgrade. I yeah, I've accepted all those. I'm kind of doing a horrible job at backing up. But uh, especially since I'm going forward, let's refuel. Now we've got a full tank of gas. Let's just double check this one over here. I, I'm a hundred percent sure I've done this one, but you never, you never want to be unsure. Yep, we're good there. Uh, so let's throw a marker out here. I want to go to that upgrade. So let's try to get to here. And I think what I'm going to do is drive to the curve and then drive straight through. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that will work. Doesn't look too forested. It looks like there's uh, just enough logging going on to where I can get through here. And yeah, that looks looks pretty good. Looks like a nice path. Oh, oh. This is uh, an awkward hill. We'll just run that tree over. We'll blow through this fence. And yeah, what do we got here? We've got a turnaround. Uh, finders keepers. One of our men spotted a lone truck just by the lake. If you could fix it up, we'd really appreciate it. I know that's not what it says. We could really put it to good use here. All right, let's start tracking that. What do we got to do? We definitely don't have enough repair points. We do have enough fuel, though. All right, again, we're going to leave it. And... This is... I think this is just where we have to drop it off. Hmm. Well, let's go get the upgrade. Maybe we need a repair point. Uh, maybe see this is where the con would be a little bit better. Yeah, let's just go straight for it, guys. I don't think there's gonna be real 
any real issue getting through here unless we come across some deep water. And that looks like it's slightly deep, but we should just be able to go around the rim. Oh, never mind, it's fine. Uh, let's not go towards the rocks there. All right, once again, found another upgrade. Always a, a good bonus. This is where it's at. It's on the side of the lake here. Not too far away from Finder's Keepers. And let's find out what it is. It is Ray's Suspension, but not for this truck. It's for the Veron AE43 or 4380. Okay, cool. Well, we've got uh, that upgrade part taken care of. Come on, truck. We're gonna wash all the fluids off of it. All the oils. Alright, now where do we wanna go? I just, I know we don't have 400 repair points. Actually, 451 repair points. Uh, so that doesn't really do us any good. The Azov, what does that have? Do I have the trailer for this? I'm down to 33 gallons of fuel. That's not amazing. Hmm. Well, we could always go get this repaired. Oh, it's not even. That is a service trailer. Let's go get that service trailer, because there's our repair point. And then I think what we're going to do... We're going to double check and make sure that this has been picked up. Yes, it has. And... Yeah, we're going to go straight and around. We're gonna we're gonna avoid whatever that mess is down there. I would have liked to hit hit up the uh, fuel tanker first, but that is all the way over there. So I think what we'll do, yeah, we'll go pick up this trailer. We'll then. Drive to the fuel store, or the fuel tanker, and then we'll go over to our uh, finder's keepers. Yeah, I feel like the... Uh The APC basically moves just as, about as fast as this does. Um, and if I was smart, I would have backed in. Crap. Oh, and I can't bust through that like I thought I could. So this is going to have to be like a 16 point turn. I'm starting to feel like Austin Powers here. <laughs> go around. Okay, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to get off this wall. There we go. Alright, so we definitely have the repair points now. And if we can get to a fuel, because I don't believe this has any in it. Uh, repair. Yeah, we don't need... 
Ah, we needed a little bit. Not too bad. But we have no fuel, so... We should, we should be good. I think we'll be good to get there. Can be anything at all to get there, as long as we can, uh... Ooh. Is it better to go around? I'm, you know what, I'm lazy. We should be able to get up here, no problem. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Again, with the turning radius in this thing, though, it's just, ugh. Such a killer. Alright, so where is our fuel station? We just gotta go right up that road. I would love if this truck had a, uh, a small bit of, maybe just one spare fuel tank. You know, of like, I don't know, five gallons, ten gallons, whatever it is. Uh, that's a little steep. Okay, our fuel should be up here, so. Should be good. Okay. All right. Uh, what's the best way? Yeah, I think we're just gonna go out this main road and hang a left. I really wish they would figure out how to fix that graphic twitching or whatever you want to call it. Like, it's kind of annoying, and it's it's been an issue for. How many years now? Alright, so let's just... Yeah, we head straight on this road. And we just follow it down. Yeah, we'll follow it down all the way. I don't think it's going to take us too long to get over there. Come on. Yeah. That hide gear does come in handy sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Come on. Also that that tip of popping the clutch to get it to shift gears or to downshift is uh a nice little feature if you use it. I, I usually tend to forget about it <laughs> and I like right as I notice the truck starting to stall I will go to push it and it will automatically switch into first gear because I was just a hair too late. Ah, crap. Do I go... Yep, yeah, I go down. Let's follow the road around, although... 
might as well fix this right now and uh, adjust accordingly. I kind of just want to bomb through it, but I think we'll we'll go the correct way. Alright, that's the time trial. We'll just follow this path for a while until we get to the fort. And then we'll take a right. If I had a guess, there should be something down in that uh, that ravine. Ooh, that was built for this turning radius. That corner was definitely built for that truck. <laughs> Alright, we'll just take a right. We uh, won't worry about that road sign. Although we we somehow didn't hit it. And where's our truck? Our truck's off to the left. I'm going to try to stay towards the trees so that we have winch points. Where's our APC? Where did that go? I don't know why I keep calling it that. Like, I guess that's just the what I'm used to. I mean, the Tuts doesn't hurt the Tart. Is it Tartan Tan? Tartan Tan? This doesn't roll off the tongue, right? So let's uh, repair. We're going to do this, this one. Yeah. We don't need any tires. All right, cool. Let's uh, refuel. And boom. That is uh, that is, that is all she wrote, guys. Uh, so I think we get to keep that truck. Although it did disappear on me, so oh, let's not uh, let's not tip this trailer over. Okay, so there's the fuel trailer that we need. Oh, that's where my tart or my tart tint tan is. You know, what? I'm just gonna call it the 420 from now on. I definitely think it's the only truck that classifies to be called 420. <laughs> and I still don't know what this is. I don't understand why I don't understand what that is. It must have something to do with something else. Yes, I know. Very, uh, very bold statement of mine. Um, I'm... Gonna kinda guess that we can get through here. I hope I'm not making a mistake. I don't even need the trailer here, but... There isn't a trailer store around here. We're, yeah, we're nowhere near a trailer store. We are gonna fight through this, uh, grove of trees. Probably the worst. Ah, eh, you know what? Let's go in between. Turning radius ever. Oh, 
Although, I'm not gonna lie. Even this path here looks like it would be pretty hard. I came through here somewhere. Pretty sure it was right through here. Uh, turn. There we go. Yep. Nice little shortcut through there. All right, this we do have to avoid the stumps, especially with the trailer. And I guess we'll leave this here. Although I could. Now, where does this have to go? All the way over there. Of course it does. Why not? Let's let's pick one of the hardest courses. Or the farthest away. Actually, it's not even that hard. You know, it's not even that far, so I'll stop complaining. I apologize. <laughs> it's just not... Uh, yeah. Um, so technically, what we can do... I mean, this makes for a pretty ballsy move, but... I think we can do it. I locked this up here. This is gonna get a little sketchy. Did me? Do I still hear it like winching in? Oh, I did not want to go. We're just going to have to power through. And yeah, no. Oh, goody. We're stuck. What are we stuck on? Well, I got a million and a half stumps I can attach to. But quick attach doesn't want to do any of that. I can't tell what I'm stuck on. see a stump at all. It's not the trailer. Oh, there it is. Oh, crap. That's not good. Well, let's try to pull behind ourselves. That is not a good location to be in. I'm going to try to do something dumb. Come on, rotate. There we go. Okay, not as dumb as I was thinking. Because apparently it worked. Alright, I'm, I'm really starting to hate these, uh... These land field or landmine fields of, of stumps. They're starting to become a pain in my butt. And I need to learn how to just avoid them altogether, but I find like that's now what are you stuck on? Uh 
Oh, it's the tanker itself. Yep. Alright, well that's good. Let's uh, detach the trailer. I got a feeling <laughs> we're going to be calling it an episode pretty soon. But uh, let's try to at least get the tanker out of here. And then we'll hook everything back up. Yeah, look at that. That is not, uh, that's not going to be pretty. Oops. Actually, you know what? There we go. That's one way to do it. No, that's a that's a stump that is stuck on. All right, we'll figure this out. We're gonna try to pull it straight through. Like we did, and follow the same path that the, uh, the other trailer took. What? Oh, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Can we go up this way? Gotta wait for the tires to rotate all the way. And then... I think I'm going to straighten her out through here. That probably actually helped us. Yay! We did it! Go us. Alright. Whoops. Let's detach that. Oops. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. Ooh, we're getting pretty sloppy through here now. Alright, let's see if we can at least get this up the road a little bit. Okay, and attach. That winch. Alright, and I know it's kind of pointless if I'm just about to end the, uh, the episode to attach the winch cable. But let's go ahead and, and get this moved up the road just a little bit. And, uh, where are we going? Yeah, so we gotta go here. So really... Really, our best route is to go not this way. We want to go all the way back around this way. This is going to be a uh, this is going to be a fairly long haul. And I'm kind of shocked that I've gone through 41 gallons of fuel. Okay, good. Get away from the stumps. Leave me alone, stumps. Uh, I can't refuel. 
That's the only downside about not having the fuel tanker attached to the truck. You know, we've got we've got some fuel. We can we can always repair or repair. We can always detach the uh, fuel tanker and drive closer to it. What? What happened? Are you kidding me? All right, well that is just, I don't, yeah. That is just typical there. <laughs> All right, well, let's detach this trailer. We're gonna try to figure out how to squeeze through here. No, let's go this way. Let's back up and see how far away our uh, fuel tanker is. Uh, it's pretty far. I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty far away. Alright, so let's hook up to this. We'll we'll hook up, we'll refuel, and then we will call it a mission. Or call it an episode. Yeah, I wish we could just call it a mission. We're done. No more work to be done. Alright, let's attach the trailer. Let's refuel. Boom, and let's shut off the engine. Alright. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I got a little bit of editing to do, and then I gotta wait for it to process. So I gotta get all that done tonight before I upload it tomorrow morning. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.